For the civil engineering PE exam from NCES, there are five depth topics that are used. Transportation, water resources and environmental, geotechnical, structural, and construction. Each of these details are according to NCES specifications as of January 1st, 2022. So if you're watching this video, make sure you check this link for their most current specifications and make sure they still align with what is shown here. For the breadth exams, so this is the typically referred to as the morning exam, there are eight topic areas and each one of these roughly has five questions each. We see it ranges from three to five up to uh, six to nine among those eight topic areas. So everyone who takes the civil engineering PE exam from the NCES is going to see these eight topic areas and questions within this range that is provided here. Furthermore, when you take the civil P PE exam, you're gonna choose this depth, a depth topic out of one of those five topic areas. And I've listed here the categories in the, that are listed in the depth portion and the number of questions. And you can see it, it ranges. Some of the categories have uh, numbers of questions that are really strong or really high. So for instance, in transportation, 10 to 15 questions are in traffic engineering, capacity analysis and transportation planning. So that's a key topic area within transportation. In water resource and environmental, we see the largest is hydrology. Geotechnical is fairly evenly split with a number of categories in this four to six question range. For structural, a large number of questions, 12 to 18, should be expected in design and details of structures, looking at component design and detailing. And then in construction, fairly well balanced. Uh, the highest categories are the six to nine in construction operations and methods and temporary structures. The other thing I've listed here are the number of design standards. So this is essentially the references you'll need to be familiar with. And so that ranges from a high of 16 design standards in geotechnical to a low of two design standards in water resources and environmental. So this is a common question I get of, you know, I work in a few areas, I'm not sure which one I should take. And so usually I point people to these design standards because that's going to be key in the depth portion is are you familiar with these topics which which area which depth topic has the most design standards that you're familiar with so those key references if you look at that list and you're not familiar with any of them it tells you that may not be the best choice for you and you need to look at another uh, discipline area to take the exam NCES does note that the examples they provided in these knowledge areas are not exclusive or exhaustive. So these are kind of rough examples of what they may include, but they do reserve the right to ask uh, other topic questions. So do be aware of this. This is just a guidance and this is what you can expect on the exam. You'll see 40 problems in these breadth areas. And then for your discipline, you're gonna see 40 problems in the depth. So it's an 80 question exam split between these breadth and depth topics within civil engineering.